Yo, what is up, YouTube family? <laughs> I just realized you guys can't see the game. There we go. We are playing PlayStation Plus's free game of the month, Hardware Rivals. This is a multiplayer game that is actually kind of like Twisted Metal. It's a little more colorful than Twisted Metal is, and you do have some customization options. You can customize your driver. You've got all kinds of different paint options. you got military paint. I, and I'm guessing you also have, yeah, you have more paints you can unlock. Uh, you can upgrade your driver with different skills. You can make it easier to lock onto tanks, give you more range, stuff like that. Basically, you can upgrade a few basic stats and have a male or female character with different skins. And as far as vehicle customization goes, let's see what we got here. You can customize your paint, you can choose a couple of different looks for your vehicle, different styles. I guess there's supposed to be different factions, but... <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it's neat. It's very simple, but it's still pretty fun. We're gonna jump into a quick match and check this thing out. Like I said, it's like Twisted Metal, so it's basically vehicular combat. You don't really see your, your pilots, uh, except if you're driving an APC. Usually I don't drive an APC, I like to drive tanks in this game. Although APCs are pretty fun too, I think the tanks are a little more powerful than the... Um, well, I mean, they're not APCs, they're little buggies. These things right here, the little buggies. I think those just shoot machine guns actually, so having the power-ups. So you guys are seeing the chat room! Yeah, I can read the chat right now. I, I was able to fix the glitch. <laughs> I'm sorry about the glitch. It was uh, some type of YouTube internal server error that I have not seen before. Um, I I'm not exactly sure what was causing it, but I, I was able to uh, circumvent it by going into YouTube gaming instead of uh, the regular YouTube website. Looks like this is actually a night map. I have not seen a night map. I've played a, a few matches of this so far. And these are the different power-ups you can actually pick up on the maps. I'm not sure what some of them are. Some uh, are lock-on missiles, others are ballistic projectiles. And it's it's a neat-looking game. There are a few things that I, I wish they changed, but it's still a lot of fun, especially if you guys have played with PS2 games before in the past, or PS1 games. I grew up with uh, uh, some of the older gaming consoles, and the PlayStation 1 was, was an especially big console for me. Alright, I'm gonna grab some of these. You can only have one type of power-up at a time. It's not like Twisted Metal in that you can have tons of power-ups at a time. <laughs> uh, if you pick up another power-up, it will erase whatever power-up you've got. So I've got three ballistics. I'm searching for a target. It looks like I joined this game a little bit late. But as long as I can stay alive, I'll be able to use these missiles to great effect. Give me some pizza! Give me some pizza, Jaden! I am pretty hungry right now pretty hungry holy crap yo this guy did 40 damage to me oh, oh I'm down to six health six health maybe that is not a lot that is not a lot I am looking for some health bars I don't see anything I'm gonna go behind these uh, these cylindrical storage units yeah look at that nice all right so we picked up a little bit of armor not too much we've got about I would say 65% armor that's gonna lower what type of damage we take with our health there we go yes yes Nice, nice. I got an assist. I didn't get a kill off of that. <laughs> there, that's what daddy likes. Alright, cool. We've got 55 health. Still not as much as I would uh, uh, prefer to have with me. Honestly, we could be we could be one-shotted. We could be one-shotted right now, and I do not want to be one-shotted. Not a huge fan of Twisted Metal, but I'll watch any game you play. <laughs> nice, thank you, man. I usually watch YouTubers for the for the YouTubers and not the games, but um, I, I don't know. Some people uh, they, they they have their favorite games, and we we do try to play like the crowd favorites on the channel. But I like to check out new things every once in a while, especially like free PS Plus games, because all the time I'm getting questions. Yo, massive! What do you think about the, about the free PS Plus games this month? Honestly, this month I think it's pretty good. I've seen a lot of people. Damn! Uh, it says winner. It's for everyone. Oh, that's right. There's a team deathmatch, not free for all. I was like, I definitely did not win this game. I joined it at the end of this game. I got zero kills and zero deaths. And still a score of... I don't know how much. <laughs> how much is my score right now? I'm going to exit this and actually go into a free for all. That's my favorite game mode. But yeah, a lot of people don't like the free PS Plus games this month. But I like them. I think they're fun. Grand Fa uh, Grim Fandango is definitely the best PS Plus game of the month. There we go. One versus all, all out deathmatch. Did this game just come out? It did, a couple days ago. 
Uh, Grim Fantango is not a new release. This is the only new release for PS Plus games on the PS4 for January. Grim Fandango is a remaster of an original LucasArts game, which was a great game back when it came out, and it still holds up today. Had <laughs> not a lot of new people joining up with this live stream. Welcome, massive family. We are playing Hardware Rivals. This is one of January's uh, free PS Plus games, and it's it's like a colorful, explosive, twisted metal. Oh, nice! We got a tank right here. We're both circling each other. Ooh, he's doing some really good damage against us. Really good damage. Oh, I got him on his back! On his back! Crap! He still took me down! I was not able to land enough damage, but as you can see, I did some good damage to him. He's got like, I would say, 15% of his health left, which is not a whole lot. Very close to death that guy was. Uh, so, basically, the, the goal of Hardware Rivals in Basics, we were playing Team Deathmatch, I mean... Just one versus all. We were playing regular deathmatch. No teams here. This is free for all. Anyway, the goal of this game is basically to grab some of these power ups and destroy your opponents. But you can't really destroy your opponents without these power up weapons. And here's another one of these weapons I'm going to grab. Uh, this is actually a ballistic weapon that I'm using right here, but you do have lock on weapons. I kind of prefer the ballistic weapons, I think they do a little more damage because you have to work for it. But, yeah, you do have a regular primary, and it never runs out. Alright, I've spotted an enemy. I'm gonna move up and be a little stealthy about this. I don't know if he's looking at his mini-map. A lot of people don't actually look at their mini-maps in not just Hardware Rivals, but any game. So, if you can just stay off of their radar, you'll be pretty stealthed out. You know what? I'm gonna pick up this armor real quick. You can uh, also add armor on top of your health bar, which is really helpful. Missed one of those things. Come on. Come on! Nice. Alright, we are fully armored up. We've got 1 minute 23 seconds left. <laughs> it looks like I have got zero kills so far. I have just joined this match, so I've got my work cut out for me. I need to find out where the enemy is. I think I see somebody on top. Nope, there they are. Super close. Nice hit. Direct hit on that guy. And that is our first kill. Kill number one! As you can see, somebody up on this ridge is actually shooting at us. I see where they are. They're inside of this building. Yeah, look at him, he's being clever. This is another thing that reminds me of, uh, of Twisted Metal when I'm playing this game, is that uh, the levels really are one of the biggest parts of this game. I mean, combat is big, but uh, they make uh, the levels a big part of combat. You've got to use these levels for cover. You've got different power-ups at hard-to-reach places in these levels. Yes, there he is! There he is. Yeah, you weren't expecting this, were you? No, you weren't expecting this. All right, uh, I'm gonna try using my power up on him. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. One more power up, one more power up. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. What? <laughs> someone, someone else took a pot shot at me. Yeah, look at this guy camping over here. But I was able to take down that tank. And yeah, I mean, there aren't a. I mean, okay, so. For what I think of this game, I, I like this game, and if, I know all you guys are probably wondering, should I download this, should I check it out? Uh, unless you're on a, a fixed internet plan, <laughs> unless you have a certain amount of uh, uh, data that you have each month, yeah, why not? I would suggest downloading this, uh, especially if you enjoy games like Twisted Metal. If you enjoy car combat games, this is a pretty good bet for you, but... Yeah, like you, like uh, Xander Ninja in the chat room said, it's kind of like World of Tanks. It's a little bit like World of Tanks, not too close. There's, as far as I can tell, no weak spots on each of the tanks or buggies that you're going to be driving around. So there's a little less strategy. It's definitely hearkening back to the old PS2, PlayStation 1 games. In fact, I believe there was a Hardware Rivals game back on the PlayStation 2, or maybe even the PlayStation 1 back when vehicle combat was super popular. It's not as popular anymore, but I think it still holds up today. The only thing that I wish that this game had was more personality. The personality that it does have, I, it's a little too childlike, in my opinion, because this is definitely a game that could appeal to any gamer, just like Rocket League, if they would have tweaked it a little bit. That's why I've turned voices off, but if I didn't turn voices off, you'd hear like, uh, yeah! Gotta kill! It's just over the top. 
in a bad way. It's not over the top in a good way. Massive Palpatine shout out challenge. <laughs> oh boy. You do not know what you're asking, Firefox Network. Um, we do a shout out challenge on, on the channel, which is as many shout outs as I can do in one breath. And he wants me to do my Lord Sidious impression on top of that. Man, I need all the air that I can get in my lungs if I'm gonna be doing that Palpatine impression. I can't do a shout out challenge and the impression at the same time. When you do a shout outs, massive. Next time I die, I'll do some shout outs. Massive, what up? PS1 was Twisted Metal, played forever. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> if you hear me be quiet, by the way, that's because I'm reading the chat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I know what you mean, Ed. PlayStation 1 days for me were all about Twisted Metal. I was actually pretty damn good at the original uh, Twisted Metal games. Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal 3, Twisted Metal 4. You know what, let's, let's use a new weapon. Let's see what this thing is right here. This looks like a homing missile. Now we just have to find a target to use this thing on. This is definitely a game where if you're good at hiding from your opponents, you're gonna rule. Yeah, here we go. Bam! Missile is out. Firing off my uh, my regular old ballistic weapon as well. Unfortunately, I did lose my lock on just now. Beautiful! Oh crap, actually I did not get that kill, I got an assist. Someone stole my kill from me! We are out of special weapons, so I need to go grab one of those before I go after more targets. Otherwise, they're just gonna whoop my butt. Oh no, my butt's getting whooped! Please, stay away from my butt! No! I cannot move right now. I cannot move, my tank is locking up. Whenever you see that that blue like, on your vehicle, your, your, your vehicle's locked up. I do not like my vehicle being locked up. Alright, so we've got two ballistics with us. I mean, we could definitely kill someone with 53 health points and two ballistics, but we'd have to get the drop on him. Hey, look at that, it's about to be three ballistics. Nice! This is an, a game that would also benefit from, like, track knowledge. If you've got knowledge of the map and the map memorized, you're gonna do better than somebody else, because as far as I can tell, actually, yeah, confirmed, none of these placements are random. Like, that health uh, will always be health. Always. Come on, you gotta lead the targets a little bit. Ah, oh, crap, you gotta shoot where they're going to be, not where they were. Especially if you're playing as a tank. Bam! Direct hit, that was a good one, that was a good one. Nice, 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 solid hit, solid hit, solid kill, actually. Oh, damn, that guy got an airstrike on me. Hard to believe Sweet Tooth was Yellow Jacket's older brother. Yeah, I. it's been a long time since I've uh, <laughs> played Twisted Metal, otherwise I would be able to talk shop all day long about the characters. Twisted Metal 4 was my favorite Twisted Metal game, actually, just because it had so much plot. Twisted Metal 3 is, a, is my close second. Close second, I love Twisted Metal 3. Damn. Damn. I don't even know how a tank that's probably like five tons can be just blown in the air like that. Massive, do you like this game? I do like this game, Ball and Boy. Uh, I have a couple couple gripes with it. It could have been better, but it's still good. It's still fun. Good luck killing someone with your primary, by the way. Good luck doing that. With uh, with this special weapon you just used, I am down to like five health instantaneously. I could not survive that. I was trying to engage him and just take him down with my primary, but it's it's not a good bet. It's not a safe bet doing that. Oh yeah, shout out to my debts. Shout out to Margarita Hernandez. Shout out to Devin. Shout out to Ethan Cook. Cameron Robinson, YMCA sticker. Shout out to Caleb Jordan and Feds the Gamer. And I promise I'll not forget shout outs next time I die. I was just so preoccupied with how I died. Oh yeah, one thing I do like is handling. Handling's pretty nice. It's not as clunky as you would think. Because a lot of times these vehicular combat games, the, the one thing that they don't get down is vehicle movement. But the vehicle handles pretty well. It handles as you would expect it would. But it's not real it's not realistic to the point where it's not fun. It's it's a lot of fun and you can you can put some style in it. You can uh jeez, damn. Oh, that's a one-hit kill weapon. We actually... I, was that the guy that got first place last time in the last round we played? 
I think so. He might be really good at this game with all the practice he's had. What's your favorite power-up? My favorite power-up is this uh, ballistic spread missile, actually. Which is why I keep picking this thing up. Oh, damn. Although, I should get whatever Chaos X Katana is using. Because their missile has been killing me in one hit every time they fire it out. I know what it looks like now, so I just need to look out for that power-up. And there's my favorite. It's the ballistic... But yeah, Chaos X Katana is just cleaning up in this match. Shout out to Will Flocka. Shout out to Neil Sandville. Shout out to In the Shadow. Shout out to... Oh, boy. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Chaos X Katana killed us again with that missile. But I killed them by ramming into them, so... Oh, at least I got a few points from that. Shout out to Edward Murray. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Ethan Cook. Shout out to Gray and Firefox Network. And I need to find a lock-on. I need to find a lock-on because the weapon that I have currently, although I love it, it's really nice for close range. It's crap at long range. And this uh, Katana person is using long range weapons. And I cannot... My right, airstrike is available now. Sweet. I cannot uh, compete with somebody that's using long range weapons if I've got short range. Hey, cool. That guy had like no health. I don't know what he was thinking come after me. Oh, look at that. Look who we got. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Chaos X Katana, the nemesis we have for this round. Oh, what? Yo, Leo just got a double kill with that pickup he just used. How fast is your internet? Pretty fast when it's working. Shout out to Proed Up, shout out to Ramona and the Beast of the Beast, and Tyler the Slayer 11. Also, shout out to Paul M, Nathan, and the New King Gamer. Oh, I need to find a new power up, and I know how I'm gonna do it. You know what? Wait, is that guy a threat to us? He might be. It doesn't look like he's trying to come out. Yeah, he's gonna come after us, actually. Uh, I'm just looking to get upstairs, man. Just looking to get upstairs. Yes! Alright, please have something good up here. Please have something good. What's it gonna have? Any power ups? Mm, yep, there we go. Is this the airstrike? Because it looks like the airstrike. Please don't break the glass. Multi ton tank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this should be good. This should be nice. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's really good at seeking. Good kill, good kill. You can also drift in this game. <laughs> well, kind of drift. Which is great for navigating around tight spaces. I didn't even know you could go downstairs here. See, that's, that's, what I, that's what I like. That's one of the strengths this game has. There we go. Ballistics, baby. That's one of the strengths that this game has is its level design. I, I mean, it could be a, the level design could be a little better. It's a little too simple, like I said before. But uh, they still have places that you can go underground, different places you can go above ground. And this just adds the much-needed dimensions this game needs. And it also adds some replayability. Nice. Another good kill. All right, we're starting to get back in the groove of things. I am out of power up, so I'm gonna go pick this thing up, whatever this is. Hey, this is the missile. This is the missile. I think that was one shot. No! No! I just got the missile. I was playing like a fool. I shouldn't have waited so long to find that missile. I mean, we didn't do bad. We got third place, but we're gonna do a hell of a lot better next round. Shout out to D Man 619. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to Pod Squad Shogun. Shout out to Eric Blanco. Shout out to the Fourth Ninja and Miz. Also, shout out to DC Gaming, Minecraft Gamer, and Nathan Alberry. Oh, wow. That's like the like Alberry. Shout out to Nathan Alberry. Shout out to Nador Massive Fan and Q Gregory 11. Once again, welcome, Massive Family. Awesome to have you guys with me for this stream. How much did this game cost? Uh, it's normally $20, which. I think it's I think it's more of a twelve dollar game, in my opinion. But it's free this month for pay PlayStation Plus, and for the price of free, it's definitely worth it. I'm having a, a big nostalgia factor with this game, just because I spent so many hours when I was growing up playing uh, uh, playing vehicle combat games. Vehicle combat games are huge in the '90s and early 2000s. PS2 had a ton of them. PlayStation One had even more. N64 had a lot of vehicle combat games, and 
I don't know, I, I spent a long time playing them, so having a vehicle combat game come out in 2015, 2016, I'm sorry. Having a vehicle combat game coming out in 2016 is really cool. Even if it is less than perfect, it's still a very satisfying game when you uh, when you get some uh, kill streaks happening. Alright, let's do some more shoutouts! Shout out to McCoy Sales, shout out to Doom Shacks, shout out to Ramona Padilla, shout out to The Doctor, shout out to Elaine Bueno, shout out to John Pollock, shout out to Liam Murray, shout out to Ethan Cook, Tyree Mormon, shout out, I love you dude, I watched all your videos bro, thank you Tyree, I appreciate that man. <laughs> Glad to have you in the massive family. Massive, make your tank pink because that's the fastest color. That is true, scientifically. Pink vehicles, what the hell? Stay off the ground to avoid being frozen. Oh no! No! No, my, my tank's being frozen! I did not read that fast enough! I did not read that! I should have read that! Oh, my tank systems are completely frozen! I am just slowing down to a crawl. No! Damn it! Damn! Look at this guy. He's not on the frozen way, so he's able to snipe people that are like me. <laughs> my sorry butt just got blown up by him. Shout out to Christian Heath and Gray. And shout out to. What else we got? What else we got? Brian C. Rodriguez. Whoa, what what just happened? What just happened? Someone's shooting at me. I'm at four health already? Alright, I, I gotta start focusing on this game. Uh, something I really respect is that you have to hit these power-ups dead on. If you just graze it, you're not gonna get it. There's there's no like radius that you can like there's no radius that the power-up locks onto, so to speak. Which is very good, because that would cheapen it a little bit. Games like these are fun because of the challenge. Just the struggle to get these power-ups. <laughs> and sometimes in the heat of... Damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew that was going to happen. I had to get some more health. If you're at 50 health, you're probably going to get one-shotted. So it's kind of a necessity to stay as high health as you can. If you want to stay mobile. And you got to stay mobile. Another thing you need to do is see the enemy before they see you. Yeah, steal the kill! Steal the kill! Steal, uh, stealing kills is a huge thing with vehicle combat. Huge thing. It's like a tradition. Damn, this guy following me. I bet he has got no damage on him. I've got a ton of damage on me. Oh, damn it. I lost my lock. I lost my damn lock. Yeah, nice! We got three kills in a row. Three kills in a row. We're starting to pick up our game. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't go in there. I just realized I tried to head inside of that building. What is with my tank flipping around? Which controller do you prefer? PS4, Xbox, or PC? I prefer Xbox controllers. Always have. I have big hands, and Xbox controllers are big. They're very ergonomic for my hands. PlayStation 4 controllers... Aside from having cheaper build quality than the Xbox controllers, uh, they're just a little too small. They're a little too small for my hands. The original Xbox Duke controllers were actually, like, the best controllers I have ever used. Ever. They're the perfect size, extremely ergonomic, very comfortable to use over, uh, long stretches of, uh, of gaming. Ah, oh, damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. The reason I wasn't trying to evade that guy's fire is because I was just trying to get one more kill in before I died. I don't think that's really fair to say that a game sucks, Rylan Lowe. Dismissing a game with one word that, I don't know, thousands of people have, or I guess in this case, hundreds of people have, like, spent countless hours creating? That's not, uh, I don't know, that's not, that's not too cool to me. Any game is gonna be somebody's favorite. And I don't, unless a game was just made for corporate greed I, 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 I think it's uh, I think it's a little cooler to respect things I don't, I don't this game does not like scream corporate greed to me I don't know maybe it was maybe PlayStation was like we need a game with with combat mechanics car mechanics that's what we need we need one of those games to rake in the bucks the big bucks <laughs> I don't think that's what happened oh crap frostbite is available uh, that is the very, very special, special weapon on this map. Frostbite. If somebody finds that, I, I, I'm gonna be very jealous, very jealous. I hope I find that. I don't know where it spawns, though. I mean, it could, it could spawn in a very difficult place, a very thin place. I'm assuming it would. I'm assuming it does. 
Do you have Destiny? Yeah, I do have Destiny. I haven't played in a while. Turned out to be a different game than I was expecting from the trailers. And honestly, I think it was a different game uh, just like a year before its release. I think that uh, Activision was like, yo, we need to, uh, we need to change this. We're, we're gonna, really, you know, uh, I don't want, like, we don't want the, we don't want the experience that's currently being developed. And before Destiny was released, it had an overhaul. There was a lot of story that has gone unused in Destiny. Uh, a lot of levels, a lot of zones, different guns, character models. It's actually quite miraculous how they're able to change it so quickly. Uh, because it was, I mean, it was supposed to release in, I believe, less than a year when most of these overhaul changes were made. Look it up, look it up. <laughs> People, you can find articles on it that can explain it better than I can. But it's a really interesting piece of gaming history, it really is. Yeah. Oh, fear the massive tank! Yo, massive, I just joined, what did I miss? Not too much, Chris, we just started this live stream. We're just checking out PS Plus's free game of the month. That is actually a new game, because Grim Fandango, that's not a new game. Wow, that was a short match. Alright, we have a winner! Let's see how we did. I'm glad we're, we'll be going on to hopefully a day match. Right, we did we did okay, we got four kills. We got six deaths, though. People have definitely gotten better at this game since the last time I played. I actually played this game, uh, I don't know, for like an hour, maybe? When it was first released a couple days ago. But... That was back when it first released and nobody had practice. So my old skills that have not been uh, honed in a while, my old rusty vehicle combat skills were able to just crush the noobs, the new guys the vehicle combat games. But I'm sure some of these guys have been playing like... Oh, this is Team Deathmatch. No, screw that. I'm not playing Team Deathmatch. <laughs> I want free for all! I want to destroy every vehicle on the map! They will fall before my mighty tank. No, they won't. My mighty tank will fall before their tiny little buggies with machine guns. In Mother Russia, tiny buggy with little machine gun. Destroy big tank. But yeah, like, <laughs> to wrap up my little tangent that I was on, my old rusty skills are now no match for people that have been playing this game for a few days. Fresh skills are way, way outweighing my, uh, my old skills. My old school skills are not serving me anymore! I enjoy your valued videos very much, Massive. I am surprised you only have 300 that Well, we'll get there, man. We'll get there. I appreciate that, Logan. That's really nice of you to say, man. Darren, we will be playing more Battlefront this week. Oh, God. What is Fire of the Agents? Fire is riding, rising. Get inside the pyramid. Oh, crap. What is going on right now? What is the Fire of the Agents? I need a little more context here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, five of the inches, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, I gotta get inside this pyramid, but I wanna see what happens too. Whoa! Oh. All the way inside the pyramid. That's a cool looking tank. <laughs> so apparently the entire, like, atmosphere vaporizes. Everything in the atmosphere sets on fire when you got the fire of the ancients. Since, since it said the fire was rising, the fire rises. I thought maybe it was like, literally rising like like it, it was uh the, the ground was gonna be doused in fire the reason i died just now is because i couldn't fire my gun i was like why is my gun firing is it still cooling down no uh there's some power up that disables your vehicle's primary weapon systems i did not know that before that's a that's a very interesting power up that that guy had i actually like this map a lot this is a very very nice looking map let's pick up this weapon Looks like a homing rocket. Alright, we don't have a lot of time left in this match. The games are very quick. Very quick. So, if you're not on your toes the entire time, you're gonna fall behind. You're gonna fall behind. And we are not on our toes right now. We gotta, we gotta switch that around. This is a very PS1 looking map. I'm getting some serious nostalgia factor right now. Which is a very good thing, actually. Love that nostalgia factor, boy. Come on! Oh, so close! How is this guy not dead yet? We need to kill him before he gets health. If he gets health before I kill him, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be so pissed. 
Oh, uh, did he get health? Did he just get health? Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die! No, I refuse to die! Not today. Yes! Yes! I won that altercation! Ha ha ha! That was mine! Beautiful. It was just one death. It was just one death. I, I killed one person, that's it. But it felt so nice. It was such a struggle. It's so desperate when there's only so many things you can do. Since we're in a tank and we're not on foot, it's not a first-person shooter, uh, we can take more damage, but we also move slower and there's not a lot of cover we can get. So it's really, really, really scary when you're being pursued by these other tanks that have really powerful power-ups. I need to find some health! That is what I need. Ooh, I could get a cheap kill right here. Cheap kill, come on, come on, cheap kill. Oh, so close to getting that kill. My tank was just blown into the sky. I wish I still had my PS1. Keep that PS1, Christian. Keep it. It's, it's... You'll, you'll want to play it someday. It's a piece of history. Oh, let's get that armor, let's get that armor. Oh, we just missed that armor. Mm. All right, so I got a little bit of armor. He got a little bit of armor. If I can, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? Too late, too late, too late. Too late. Oh, I'm frozen. No! Move! Please! Just get up and go! When I'm frozen like this, I can't move. I can just fire my weapon. And that's it. Yo, I am shocked that I took as little damage as I did in that altercation. I am absolutely flabbergasted. Oh, please give me these. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason that we didn't come out on top in that little altercation is because... I missed one of those armor pieces. And if I didn't miss that armor piece, I probably would have been good to go. Which is like why I was saying I love the hit detection with how precise it is. If you do not like pass directly over this armor piece or health pickup or weapons pickup, you're not going to get it. And it's very easy to miss them in the middle of a battle because you're just moving so desperately. All right, let's pick up these three things. That means we'll have six ballistic missiles, and we can just use these things liberally. We can use them very liberally. We don't have to worry about conserving our, our, our ammunition or anything like that. Now all we have to do is find some prey. We have 1 minute 20 seconds left in this match. Where are they? Where is the enemy? Are they up top? On the inside of the pyramid? We got a minute left. I got six missiles. Oh my god, he just came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere! Wasted that one. We got five left. Oh god. Oh god. Fire is rising, get inside of the pyramid. I don't know how he took me down. He must have had a really good weapon to get me in like one hit, because I was at 100 health pretty much. I'm gonna wait until this fire dissipates before I respawn. That looks pretty dangerous. Alright, there we go. Respawning. We have 40 seconds left. I'm just gonna grab whatever is available. I don't care what it is. I just need to find a person. Power-ups are of a little concern to me right now. People, that's what I need to find. Get this armor, get this armor. Oh, sweet. Whoever we find, I'm not gonna worry about my health. I'm just gonna worry about getting that kill. I'm gonna check around the inside of the pyramid. Maybe we can find somebody here. I think I just saw someone. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Get it! Get it! Get it! Four seconds! Five! Get that kill! Get that kill! Get that kill! Gah! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! We're just hugging each other! We're hugging each other right now! We did our best. We did not win that match. We did not win. We did get second place, though. We're a whole lot of people in that match. Where are the tanks and blow ups? Blow ups and tanks are everywhere. Trust me. <laughs> A ton of people like to use tanks in this game. I did burp in the middle of when I was talking. It was unexpected. I was hoping nobody would notice. But thanks for letting everybody know, Winsley! <laughs> Alright, let's do some shoutouts. Shoutout to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Gaming and other games. Shoutout to Elijah Lamb. Shoutout to Emmett Bacals. Shoutout to Nathan Alvary. Shoutout to... Demetrius Waters, shout out to Pro It Up, shout out to DC Gaming, shout out to Rylan Lowe, shout out to Logan Merrifield, shout out to Ms. Juwani, shout out to Chocolate Rampage, shout out to In the Shadows, Kishore Krish, Robbie, and shout out to uh, Kyle 
Larson. There we go. Shout out to Kyle Larson. Your name was almost cut off because my my chat window was scrolling up. Shout out to Fez the Gamer. Shout out to Elijah Lamb. Shout out to Lego Man 1090. Grumble. Shout out to Pod Squad Shogun. Jacob Spradlin. Shout out to McCoy Sales. Did you play Twisted Metal before on the PS1? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, PlayStation 1, Twisted Metal was the shit. I I'm sorry, pardon my French. Twisted Metal was the bomb! There we go. Remember, kids, always always say bomb. Ne 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 never doo-doo. This game is the doo-doo. <laughs> oh boy, that would, be a, that would be an insult. Yeah, this, this, this game is fun. It's not as good as Twisted Metal. Man, those were the days. PS1, Twisted Metal, get one of those dongles that allow you to connect four more controllers. You're gonna have, your, you're gonna have yourself a ball. Actually, that's what I, I had one of those dongles. I had uh, like eight controllers. We could only use six at a time, but we would play six player split screen in Twisted Metal. Six player split screen on the PlayStation 1. And you gotta keep in mind, this was not a widescreen TV. This was a CRT box TV. It was big, but it was still a box. And you had PlayStation 1 graphics split across six different screens on a CRT. Picture that. That's what we had to work with back then, but that was beastly. Seriously, I mean, I have some of my best gaming memories playing on the old uh, PlayStation 1 with my friends. Six screen, split screen on Twisted Metal. That was great. I used to play Twisted Metal so much, I was actually proficient at it. I am positive that I could, like, I don't know, uh, be part of some Twisted Metal pro team if there was a Twisted Metal pro team back then. Not anymore! I am severely out of practice, but, yeah, with how often I played it, back when I played my PS1 regularly, I was pretty damn good. I'll tell you what, back in the day, Twisted Metal PS1, it's pretty good. Like it was so long ago. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn, Minnesota got to me first. How did they do that? How did they kill me? I have no idea how they were able to kill me. It looks like we just have... Wow, this is just one versus one. <laughs> so, aside from some of the, the complaints that I had with the game that you guys have heard earlier, another cl complaint that I would have is, uh, it doesn't really handle its servers very well. I'm sure this will be patched out, but at the moment, it, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really do a good job of snatching players for you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna whoop this guy once. I'm gonna take him out, I'm gonna kill him, and then I'm gonna find a new match, because honestly, playing with just one other person is kinda ridiculous. Oh my god. What is that guy? Where are the all these one-hit kill weapons? I feel like I'm playing against a developer right now. Do we have anybody else joining up on us? No, I don't think anybody else can join up on us. I'm sorry, Minnesota. There's just too few people in this match right now. Yeah, hopefully they patch that in. A fix where you don't just play against one person. Uh, if, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that uh, maybe people online have become good friends with them. I have, Nathan, many times. Like someone like in your life has expressed doubts that you can actually make good friendships online, but... It's very common for the, like the baby boomer, boomer generation, or maybe a generation that's not as knowledgeable with the internet as we are, to like there we go, <laughs> there we go. It's very common for those generations to uh, uh, view the internet with uh, a, a bit of, of fear and misunderstanding because they just they don't know it like we do, and a lot of them don't believe that you could actually be f like meaningful friends with someone that's on a computer and over a computer, but that is definitely possible. I have a lot of good friends. I mean, I've got my YouTube family. <laughs> what more proof do I need than that? I actually met my girlfriend online. Don't let anybody tell you uh, otherwise that you can't, like, have meaningful friendships online and stuff like that, because you, you totally can. Obviously not with everybody. Online is just like real life. You're gonna have good seeds, you're gonna have bad seeds. So you gotta be careful, but, I mean, it's... Super, super common to uh, meet awesome people online. Another great thing about uh, the computer and, and the internet is that you can make friends with anybody in the world. So you're definitely going to find people that have similar interests to yours, which you might not have in real life because you just have, I don't know, what? People that go to your school, people that work at your job, 
That's not a lot of people to choose from. It's really narrow-minded to not make friends online, in a way. Or, to, it's narrow-minded to go out of your way not to make friends online, if you know what I mean. Uh, we might be streaming that tomorrow. Oh, I was hoping I would get a kill there. Or at least a hit, not a kill. I knew I wasn't gonna get a... Can you please do Star Wars primary? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Time to clean up. Time to clean up. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Oh. He's got the drop on me right now. He's got the drop on me right now. Oh, no! Yo, we gotta recover. We've got three deaths and only one kill. When will you steam uh, Battlefront and what's on? I will be steaming Battlefront. Mispronounced stream. I will be streaming Star Wars Battlefront uh, in the next few days. It'll definitely be at the beginning of this week. When did you realize that you're having a big voice? Good question. The first time I realized that was actually when I realized I no longer needed a Duke Nukem soundboard to prank people on Xbox Live. <laughs> I used to use a Duke Nukem soundboard, uh, and I would put my I would put my Xbox microphone up to my uh, computer speakers, and I would play the Duke Nukem soundboard when I was playing Halo Three. What? What? I was indoors! Come on! That is total BS! That was total BS! So the game, uh, when the fires rise, they want you to get inside of the pyramid, otherwise you'll be obliterated by the fires, like I was. Surely, you can save yourself from the fires if you're inside a building that is not the pyramid. Now, <laughs> that was a little weird. Anyway, yeah, uh, one day I realized, yo, I don't need to hold my microphone up to my computer speakers anymore, I can just do my... Duke Nukem impression, uh, myself. I can just do it myself. And that was, that was a really fun realization, because it was a lot easier using my own voice than it was using a soundboard. Higher quality, too, because I didn't have, you know, my microphone picking up my, uh, my computer speaker's static. Yeah, I am reading YouTube Jay's craft. I was actually just answering a question. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, boy, get this health. Get this health. Yes! 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 Eat it! I am back to 100%. Awesome. All right, I'm now going to turn around. I'm going to try to nail this guy that was trying to nail me. He probably found another target by now. But I'm still going to look around, see if I can find him. Your minimap is really small, so that's not the best way to find foes. There we are. All right, so I got a tank. Looks like he's coming down to the surface. Yep, there he is. Probably gonna be behind him, aren't I? Yeah, where'd he go? He just disappeared out of nowhere. What? Oh well, maybe this is him up here. What was that? <laughs> there are some power-ups I am not aware of. Millie's just got a, a, a savage kill on me. The respawn time is a little long. I'm, I guess I'm used to like, I don't know, Battlefront or Black Ops where it's relatively instant, aside from the little loading that it has to do. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got a good power up. It is a ranged power up. Yeah, Millie's, Millie's is gonna die. <laughs> Millie's is dead. Millie's didn't stand a chance. If somebody gets the drop on you, that is a one hit kill weapon. If somebody gets the drop on you, uh, they're gonna have a huge advantage. You're probably gonna die. So that is why stealth is so key in this game. You're gonna do the best if you're gonna be camping instead of running around like I am. If you're just camping, yeah. You're gonna have some super high performance. A lot of kills, very few deaths. It's not very easy to spot where a camper is. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, I can't move right now. Hey, I got a double kill! But I am frozen. That's what it means when, when your thing is blue like that. You are frozen. And I am taking heavy, 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 heavy damage! Oh no! Hey, got an assist from something. Yo, Massive, where's the Need for Speed 2015? I do have a lot of Need for Speed 2015 videos on my channel, but we have been slacking lately. I will be going back to that game at some point. There's been a lot of updates for it. A lot of new parts, a lot of patches that were fixing some of the glitches that were out. And hell, I, I just realized we're going to get it for the PC. Need for Speed 2015 is now going to be Need for Speed 2016 very soon, very shortly. 
Sweet! Another kill! Alright, we've got eight kills. As you can see, we are doing a hell of a lot better than we were before. We're getting back in the groove of things. Trying to target this little buggy. Hopefully he just ran into the lava. Did he go in the lava? No. No, he did not. Maybe he did. I'm not seeing on my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, forget about it. Forget about it. We have more important things now. Like these two targets directly in front of me. I only have my primary weapon. Until now. Yes! Alright, where are they? I just realized this is a really good weapon right here. Oh no, fire of the ancients. The fire is rising. We gotta get inside. But not before my power up. Yes! Alright, I got my power up. Now I need to get inside this pyramid. I have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Just in time! I just realized that's going to make things here super tense. Because look at this. Look at this. We have, uh, we have got a tiny little room. And the entire server is, is expected to go into this tiny little room to survive the fires of the ancients. That's really a good gameplay mechanic. I like that. Well, I'm out of my super weapon. Let's see what this is. Looks like mines to me. One slightly aggravating thing is that the game does not, uh, like, actively tell you whatever weapon or power-up you pick up. It... It tells you vocally, but it, there's no written text on the screen that tells you, which is too bad. I've turned voice off. There are a lot of voices in, the, in this game, and they're all annoying, in my opinion. They're just a little too over the top, a little too cartoony. If I actually like this, oh wow, look at that first place. I actually like this art style. I think the art style is just fine. Uh, I don't know what I'm where I'm going with here, but uh, the the voices match the art style, but it makes the art style not cool. This art style is not really a kid's art style. It's just a simple like abstract art style, which is gorgeous and beautiful. Mindstract is just an abstract art style, but when you add really silly voices like, <laughs> I gotta kill with my tank! I'm not kidding. They actually say crap like that. It just makes it into a... too much of a... it makes it seem like a kid's game. Even though that's not what they're going for. The developers aren't trying to make a kid's game. They're trying to make a, a Rocket League game, but vehicle versus vehicle warfare... There you go. Shout out time! Shout out to Tyler Fulmer. Shout out to Jalen Meyer. Shout out to Deanna Torres. Shout out to Christopher Alicia. I believe that's Alicia at the... At the uh, yeah, is that? Let me scroll back up. Yeah, it is! Shout out to Alicia. Shout out to Grumpus. Shout out to Adrian Rios. Chocolate Rampage. Shout out to Alex Diaz. Shout out to Vampire Girl Crazy One. Shout out to McCoy. Shout out to Mellow Matrix. And shout out to Jordan Williams. We are in a new match. This is free for all, so we can have anybody as our target. We don't have to search for targets. They are everywhere. And look at that. You see that? That is a special weapon. It looks like a one-hit kill weapon. I'm going to try to navigate my tank up to the top. By the way, this game is free. It is free. So if you want to check it out, do so. If you got a PS4 and PS Plus, you can get this game for nothing in the month of January. No! Oh, that did look really cool. My tank was blowing up in midair. Still, I missed my shot. I missed my chance. I could have gotten that one hit kill weapon. I was too slow. Anyway, this game will be free in January. This month. Next month, it will no longer be free, so get it while you can. This is a ballistic weapon right here, so it's not going to help us out with range, unfortunately. But if we happen to... Oh, God, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You see that? This means I cannot fire my weapon. I cannot fire my weapon. He has disabled all weapon systems, whoever is pursuing me. All right, we are back online. I'm going to see if he's still pursuing me. Yeah, unless that's a different guy. Where is he? Where, there we go, there we go. Bam! Successful hit. You have to lead your targets in this game. There's not a whole lot of aim assist. There is a little bit of aim assist. A little bit of lock-on, but for the most part, you have to be pretty precise, which is awesome. It's great that they didn't make this game too easy, which is something that I was worried about when I first saw some of the promotional art for Hardware Rivals. I was like, this game looks like they might make it too easy, but they didn't. They didn't. There's uh, definitely challenge involved, and it is a challenging game to be good at. I, I wasted my one shot, one kill. I, I should have just used my primary since I got so many hits on that guy. 
He was not gonna take a lot more. All right, let's grab some of this health. Excellent. I'm gonna grab uh, this laser weapon over here since I haven't used it before. Yo, Massive, can you please do Star Wars Battlefront? That is definitely coming this week. I haven't played Twisted Metal on PS3, but I've played Twisted Metal uh, Black. I've played Twisted Metal PS4. I mean, not PS4, Jesus. I've played Twisted Metal 3, Twisted Metal 4, and Twisted Metal Black. And I, I believe that's it. I may have played the Twisted Metal RC car game, but I have not played the PS3 Twisted Metal. It looked like too much of a deviation from the original Twisted Metal for me. Which is something that I like about this game. I mean, it could be a little more complicated. I would like that. But it's... It's simple in a good way. It really is. It's simple in a good way. The new Twisted Metal game that came out was... Was complicated in a bad way. No! Oh boy! Oh boy, see this? My tank is freezing because I am on the... I'm on the surface. If you're on the surface, your tank will freeze over and it'll be super slow until it thaws out. It's starting to thaw, but it's it's taking a little bit. It's taking a little bit. Nice. I still got a kill before we die, so it's all good. By the way, do you guys remember a game called Omega Boost since we're talking about PS1 games? Omega Boost. It's all good. I loved Omega Boost. Omega Boost was a spaceship mech 3D hell shooter. Or, it's not called a hell shooter, it's called a bullet hell game. It was a soft bullet hell game since, you know, I mean, they can't make it as complex as a 3D bullet hell game. I mean, a 2D bullet hell game. And if you guys don't know what a bullet hell game is, it's, uh, it's basically a game where you have to dodge a crap ton of enemy fire. And that's one of the most difficult facets of the genre, is dodging the enemy fire. Not just dealing damage, but avoiding damage. And that's what Omega Boost was. It was a 3D space mech game centered around that concept, and it was a lot of fun. BAM! Nice! Nice! Kind of wasted my special there, but oh, I'm about to die anyway, so why not? At least I'll get an assist. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He is circle straight straight for me. Circle straight for me. I don't like circle straight. No, he got me! I have played Star Wars Battlefront on Xbox One, but I will not be buying it for Xbox One. I played the, uh, the bait. It's not, it wasn't the beta. I played the EA Access, Early Access of Star Wars Battlefront for the Xbox One. <laughs> wow, that was a mouthful. Reading the comments right now, if you're wondering why I'm silent. Uh, t -t 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 nice. Nice, we have some people that did play Omega Boost. Yeah, it would be cool if they put Kylo Ren in Battlefront, but... Oh, one-shotted! The reason we're not going to see Kylo Ren in Battlefront is because... They're focusing on the original trilogy. It has been confirmed that we will only be getting... Original trilogy DLC for Star Wars Battlefront. No Clone Wars. No, uh... Force Awakens era characters or maps. Unless it's, you know, like the Battle of Jakku, that took place around the original trilogy, so that's why we have something from The Force Awakens. But, I can't wait until we get a Force Awakens Battlefront, I really can't. I can't wait to play as Finn, Kylo Ren, Rey, all of them, all of them. One of my favorite characters uh, from The Force Awakens was Finn. We didn't, knew t we, don't know, we didn't know too much about him going in, but I really liked what I could tell from his character in the trailers that I saw and he ended up being one of my favorite characters he's a badass I was okay I actually can't give out spoilers I was gonna give out a spoiler but then I realized oh that would spoil a little too much I can't say anything I gotta keep my mouth shut gotta keep my mouth shut oh double kill sweets we've got six kills and one minute left we have to at least get, I would say, one or two more kills if we want to land in first place by the end of this game. I don't know how well the other tanks are doing, but I'm going to say first place right now has eight kills. I'm going to say eight kills. That's my ballpark estimate. Watch it be like 20 kills. Something absolutely crazy like that. We're definitely going to get Chewbacca as a OT hero. There's not a whole lot of OT heroes they could use unless they go into the uh, EU. And a lot of the EU has been um, retconned. So, there's only so much they can do. 
I would really like a Dash Rendar. Highly doubt we're going to get Dash Rendar. He is my favorite EU character. Uh, I hope we get IG-88s. Kind of doubt IG-88 for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't feel like we're going to see a droid bounty hunter. We'll probably see Bosk before we see IG-88. But as far as heroes go, the only heroes I could see would be Ben Kenobi and Chewie and maybe some type of... Maybe Lando! Oh, Lando! One of the best characters ever! Ah, oh, crap. Well, we didn't get first place, but let's see how we did. I'm pretty sure we got second place. Listen to me being all cocky. Yeah, we got second place. Hey, we did. We got seven kills, six deaths. We're doing, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I feel some of my older skills coming back now. Massive, we want Battlefront. I want Battlefront 2. Battlefront is coming, man. We might be doing it tomorrow. All right, shout out time. Shout out to Grumble. Shout out to Satcast. Shout out to Garfield the Cat. Austin Bryans in the shadows. Shout out to Elijah Lamb. Shout out to Vampire Girl Crazy One. Shout out to Jacob Spradlin. Shout out to Ryan Rylan Lowe. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. Shout out to Rylan Lowe. Shout out to Emmett Bacal. Shout out to. Everett Price. Shout out to Ocelot Man, Ocelot Mania. Shout out to Yaheem Brown. Shout out to Logan Merrifield, Legion of Boom 12. Shout out to Yalen Meeks and Derek Major. Also, shout out to Jason Lee. Uniquely awesome for the win. Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to Jacecraft Gaming. Shout out to Chris. Wait, well, hold on. I got cut off there. Let's see, what was that? Shout out to Chris Lolo. Shout out to Chris Lolo. Shout out to Derek. Shout out to Aiden. Shout out to... Jason Lee, shout out to Logan Sims, shout out to Dragonite, sounds like a Pokemon, Dark Lord 123, Brayden 659, Ian Grow, shout out to Yalen Meeks, shout out to Nolan Rogge, shout out to Fabian, what a lucky name, Fabian. Get so close to Fabio. Own it, man. Own it, man, you're close to Fabio, be a Fabio. Shout out to Mitchell C, shout out to the Doctor, and shout out to Even Ratter. Whoa, already we've got a target. Oh, yes, we have first hit. We have first hit. First hit is key. Oh, they got stuck. Oh, no, they got stuck. Oh, and they missed the power up. Oh, no. I feel bad for them, actually. If they didn't get stuck, they would have been fine. And they only got stuck because I slammed into them. Bam! Oh, come on, come on. How durable is this guy? Yo, this guy is unbelievably durable. There we go. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it. After our first kill, we got our first death. First time for everything, I guess. <laughs> this is definitely not my first death of the game, though. Just this round. I have died, like, over 50 times in Hardware Rivals thus far. Oh, great. I missed half the power-ups. Oh, uh, where'd our guy go? There he is. We can't move anymore. We can no longer move. Yes! Yes! I got a kill before he died. <laughs> That's all that mattered. Jar Jar for here on Twitter. We need to start that trend. I don't know about that Everett Price. <laughs> I do not want a Jar Jar. Actually, yes. You know what? I second that. We should definitely start a hashtag petition trending for Jar Jar for Battlefront. Jar Jar for Battlefront. Because if we do that, I'll be able to kill Jar Jar in Battlefront if he is a hero. And if I can kill Jar Jar in Battlefront, I will be happy. I will just go into practice, go into the offline mode, and kill Jar Jar over and over and over again. And that's all I'll do. What a silly character, Jar Jar. What were you thinking, George? Seriously, what were you thinking? Jar Jar is the key to all of this. He's the funniest character we've had. And if we can get Jar Jar working, He'll be a funnier character than we've we've had in the past. Jar Jar is the key to all of this. Jar Jar. Damn you, George. You magnificent bastard. You've done so much for Star Wars. You created Star Wars. He did. But he... While he is the best thing to happen to Star Wars, he's also the worst thing to happen to Star Wars, unfortunately. The man does not know where to stop. He needs a lot of no men around him. If he has yes men around him, we'll get Jar Jar. That is what we get when George Lucas can do what he wants. We get Jar Jar. You don't want Jar Jar, trust me. You don't want Jar Jar. You may think you want Jar Jar, but you don't want Jar Jar. 
I was actually reading about what Star Wars was going to be originally. What George Lucas originally wanted for Star Wars and the Star Wars movie that we almost got. Where are where are the people? Where is everybody? That was a sick jump. I gotta admit. That was pretty badass and holy crap I missed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Anyway, so C3PO was almost this this sleazy used car salesman type. R2D2 looked completely different. Uh Luke Skywalker was originally gonna be called Luke Starkiller. Luke Starkiller. That's way too heavy-handed. And Luke Starkiller was uh, going to be going after the, a, a MacGuffin. It wasn't going to be Luke was just swept up in this massive destiny that he has. No, it was going to be that Luke's, Luke Starkiller is going after this super important MacGuffin. And I'm going to die. Six! Five! We, we got to get in here! Four, three! Two! One! Oh, just in time! Wow! Wow, do we have anybody else hiding inside of here? They're all below me. They are all below me! <laughs> it almost sounded like it, like I said. They are all below me! Which sounds like broken English for... I don't know, something you'd order in a cat house. <laughs> We've got full health! Yes! Oh, was it, that was not an insta-kill. Yes, it was. Never mind. I got a double insta-kill with that one laser. Do you see that? That was great. But we're now out of lasers, so I had to pick up some other uh, some other weapons here. I think this is my favorite map. It's a very pretty map. I wonder if he can say Jar Jar in his epic voice. <clears throat> Jar Jar! <laughs> oh, boy. Jar Jar Bakes, the standalone movie America has been waiting for, is coming out this summer of 2017. What will George Lucas bring to us in this wonderfully funny movie for all ages, and not just five-year-olds? i tell you what he'll bring, George. George is going to bring the absolute best the Star Wars film franchise has to offer. The character everyone's favorite is, the character everyone's been waiting for, Jar Jar Binks, The Untold Story. Uh, breaking news, the Jar Jar Binks movie that we actually had on our show about to, uh, I think a year ago, back when it was announced, uh, the Jar Jar Binks movie has actually been cancelled due to uh, uh, threats of mass shootings that went a little dark, but I guarantee you that's what would happen. You would have some crazy Star Wars nut fan that would go into the theater and just destroy the screen. He would, he would, he would, that, that, that would be their, that would be their wish. That would be their wish. George Lucas has said that if he could, if he had the time and resources, he would hunt down every single copy of the Star Wars special and destroy it. He has actually bought like thousands of copies of the Star Wars special just to be destroyed in the past. That is how ashamed he is of the Star Wars special. And there are Star Wars fans that are ashamed enough of Jar Jar that I feel like one of them would snap. One of them would snap. It, hell, if George Lucas didn't have enough restraint to make three Star Wars movies, and he just kept on making Star Wars movies, we probably would have seen a Jar Jar standalone film, and we probably would have seen <laughs> that grim scenario happen. Massive Jar Jar for President 2016? Uh, that's a question Donald Trump just asked me in the chat room. I don't know, Donald. I think that, uh, I think what the, what America really wants is for you to have Jar Jar as your vice president. I think that would guarantee you a, a spot in office. There is no way you, you you wouldn't be elected president if you said Jar Jar would be your vice president. Everybody would say that is a good idea if I've ever heard one. I was not convinced that I wanted Donald Trump for president before, but I am convinced now is what people would say to that. <laughs> Yo, Massive, do you think Rogue One is going to be any good? I love how this live stream just turned into me talking about Star Wars. Yes. Yes, although I am a little worried about the release date. Disney has said that Rogue One will be releasing holiday 2016. I don't believe that they're going to be able to make that deadline. I mean, as far as we know, Rogue One hasn't been in development for a very long period of time. And crap, I just died. Yeah, but like I said, from what we've heard, Rogue One has not been uh, in development for a very long period of time. It's supposed to release uh, holiday 2016. Apparently, they just started filming a little while ago. So, usually films are made over the course of 
two years, maybe a little longer than two years, depending on the film. I can't see them doing Rogue One in the time that they've had. I really can't, especially a Star Wars movie, especially a Disney Star Wars movie. Disney, in a, a, a very good way, has been taking uh, the Star Wars franchise extremely seriously. Like, Disney does not want a repeat of what happened with George Lucas. Disney wants people to be 100% satisfied with Star Wars because they want to make Star Wars twice as big as it already is. So I don't doubt that Rogue One's going to be a quality movie, but I do doubt the release date. I doubt it's going to be this year. It's probably going to be delayed. We did get 12 kills and 6 deaths this match, so that was fantastic. Shoutouts coming in a minute! But... First, I'm going to answer this question by Ocelot Man, who asks, when is the DLC for Star Wars Battlefront coming? Uh, no one knows that except for EA, actually. And uh, I actually... Uh, I I'm on a lot of different uh, developers and publishers mailing lists, and I'm in contact with a lot of different developers and publishers, like a lot of YouTubers. And I have gotten no word from EA that there will be Star Wars Battlefront DLC soon, or that there's even going to be an announcement soon. We have no word on that. Nobody has any word on that, but as soon as I get word, as soon as they send me an email with news or something like that, I will be letting you guys know, and I will be making an update video about it. Are you going to stream Just Cause 3? Yes. When there's a few more modifications out. I'm going to back out of this match. I'm going to find a new match. Maybe a different game mode. I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at the different game modes that are in this game. Yeah, quick match. You got your team death match. You got your regular death match. Team domination. Team elimination. And private matches. There's a lot of bonus for team domination and team elimination. Five short rounds. Once you're down, you're out. Capture the domination zones to score points. One versus all. And team death match. You know what? One versus all. I think... I think that vehicular battle games, games where you just have two vehicles trying to blow each other up, are best with free-for-all. That's just my personal opinion. Twisted Metal on the PlayStation 3, which was trying to reboot the entire Twisted Metal franchise, fell flat for a lot of people. And I think the reason it fell flat was because it was just too much. It was too complicated. People just wanted to blow each other up, just like they did in the PS2 days and the PS1 days. And that's not the experience that the PS3 PlayStation 3 Twisted Metal game gave them. That was a mouthful. I could have said that better. Definitely could have said that better. Oh, uh, we're just trying to wipe each other out. I love his name, though, Phantom Pain. Unfortunately, Phantom Pain made a big mistake crashing his car just behind my tank. Who crashes a car behind a tank when they know that tank wants to kill him? Phantom Pain does. That's what he does. That's what he do. Maybe all of his Phantom Pains were causing him to just be a little delirious. They do say if you're in a lot of pain, don't get behind the wheel. I'm sure there's truth to that. There's got to be truth to that. It just makes sense. Unfortunately, I am facing this guy that has max health from what I can tell. I do not have max health myself. I was already uh, whittled down by that other guy. Oh crap, this guy just picked up some more health. Oh no, oh no, I'm at 32. I can't believe this guy hasn't killed me yet. Yes! Yes! Alright, solid kill. I need to find a power-up. I just realized we joined this match with, like, two minutes to spare. We don't have a lot of time to make a mark, so to speak. We gotta make our mark. We gotta get as many kills as we can. So far, we only have two kills, but I'm confident we should be able to turn that around before the end of the game. Oh, great. Uh, we actually have just had our system disabled by this, this little buggy up here. Very, very smart little character. Right, we're getting some solid hits, but he is using the map to his advantage. I really get nervous when I'm, like, trying to do platforming in a vehicle. Platforming with a car? I don't know. It's just it's not the most natural of combinations. It is a very satisfying combination when you are able to be successful with it. But it's, it's still weird. It's still weird. You never get used to it. That was a huge part of Twisted Metal, actually huge part of Twisted Metal was uh, using the level to your advantage. They always had really rare power-ups hidden throughout the level. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, come on! Come on! What?! 
Somebody just came behind me and one shot of my butt. Shout out to Tyrell Fennel. Shout out to Patrick Alguna. Shout out to Dark Lord One Two Three. Shout out to Jordan Salcedo. Shout out to Adrian Two Ninety. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! That's my impeccable Sylvester Stallone impression. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yo, Adrian. How you doing? Yo, Adrian! I gotta have more mush mouth. Yo, Adrian. What? Hold up. I joined at the end of this match and I still got first place? What? That is crazy. I got two kills and I got first place. Wow. I want to play with these guys. These are the guys you want to play against. Shout out to Christopher Bashiat. Shout out to Austin Gillard. Wait, 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 wait. Gerard. There we go. Shout out to Austin Gerard. If your names, I usually start like shouting out the names that are about to disappear from my chat, but sometimes they disappear too quickly. Shout out to Rylan Lowe. Shout out to Austin Gerard. Shout out to Chris Lolo. Shout out to Everett Price. Jacob Sprawlin. Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to Mia Mitchell. Shout out to Anuj. And shout out to Nolan Raggi. Shout out to Get to the Chopper. Get to the Chopper. Oh. We're playing one more match for the night. I know this is a short live stream, but uh, I tried to go to the DMV today. I feel like I'm doing stand-up. So I went to the DMV today. <laughs> Except the DMV was closed. It was closed for renovations. Oh, boy. And then I had trouble finding some of my paperwork for my car that I needed for the DMV. And, oh, it was just, it was a day. It was a day. We, I also had some problems with Cox. <laughs> Before you think I'm talking about something else, I'm talking about COX, the illustrious internet service provider that I have the pleasure of dealing with on a daily basis. I'm serious. I don't know how their employees are employed. Uh, when we when we first uh, used Cox to set up the internet that I'm using to live stream right now. Uh, we were in the process of moving, me and my girlfriend, and we were moving to a new place. Sorry I'm going to a little tangent here. It'll be short, I promise. <laughs> it's, I like to do my vlogs within some of my videos. I, I don't know, maybe you guys would rather see vlogs separate of videos, but... Here we go! Impromptu vlog! Uh, yeah, so, problem with Cox started when we were moving. We asked Cox, yo, is this place serviceable? They said, yes it is, you can get the highest speed of internet that you require, and we are connected, this house is connected right up to the door, you will have our service. So we were like, great, load off our minds, I need to have the highest quality internet so I can stream for you guys at the highest qual uh, quality I possibly can. Uh, turns out that was a lie. When they went to install the internet, they said, hey, there's no internet here, there's not lines for internet here. You're gonna have to pay like four or five thousand dollars to have lines installed, and we're like, crap, we already moved. It's too late to uh, stop the moving process. That sucks. Um, so uh, we, we, we tried to like find a way to get Cox to pay a little bit of it because they did say that um, uh, there was internet in the house. You know, they lied to us. We already moved here. We need them to make it right. They need to make it right, honestly. It's, it's their job. It's their job. Their employees lied. It's their fault. It's not my fault. Um, eventually, uh, we got somebody that said it doesn't actually cost 4000 The real price is $480. Turns out that guy didn't know what he was talking about either, but it happened to work out to our advantage. So, we paid the $480 that he requested, and we did that months ago. The internet was already supposed to have been installed at the house. It's still not installed. They gave us a guaranteed date of like December 14th. Well, they missed the date completely. Uh, they didn't even uh, they didn't even work on it. They didn't do a damn thing. They didn't even tell us that they weren't doing anything. Can I be flipped over? There we go. They didn't even tell us that they were doing anything. They just completely ignored us. And then they said, oh, we're sorry about that. Uh, we'll do it January 14th. I mean, uh, January, uh, a couple days ago, a couple days ago. Well, cut to a couple days ago, and nothing was done. They didn't even start the process. Meanwhile, I've had to, uh, uh, uh do my live streams at, um, someone else's house. 
So, I am yelling and shouting and uh, uh, like hanging out with you guys in somebody else's house when I'm live streaming, by the way. It's not my own house. Hasn't been for months now. Oh, boy. Every day I gotta take my consoles back and forth. But yeah, that's what I've been dealing with with Cox. And when I had the internet installed at this house that I'm streaming at, they said that the cheapest option for me would be if I paid an extra $5 a month and got their promo cable box for television. Turns out that was a lie. <laughs> this too was a lie. Uh, because they charged us like $43 each month. Like, pre like after that. And we were like, holy crap, what is the $43 charge? Just out of nowhere. Turns out that $43 charge was the real price of the television that they lied about. So I had to deal with that today. DMV was closed. It's not been the best day. So thank you guys for joining me for this live stream because, I don't know, it's it's helped me cool off. It's helped me cool off. I was, I was very upset earlier, but I'm good now. So thank you for that. And thank you for listening to my little rants. You should be an anchorman. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. It'd be fun being an anchor man, but it's more fun. Like, <laughs> it's more. It's more fun playing games with friends. <laughs> Although it would be, it would be a, a pretty cush gig. I've seen the movie Anchorman with Will Ferrell. All I gotta do is read some lines. I can read lines real good. Mama taught me how to read real nice. You should go punch them in the cocks. I should. Uh, they've cost me so much trouble. So much trouble. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't have my computer at my house. If I want to use my computer, I have to go to this, this person's house to use my computer that I'm at right now. And that's goddamn ridiculous. I have to bring my whatever console I stream with back to the house. I have absolutely crap internet at the house that I'm living at because that's the only thing we can get there. Which, by the way, the internet service provider at the house that we're living at is called CenturyLink, and they're also crap. CenturyLink, three representatives confirmed at CenturyLink that the uh, upload speed is 20 Mbps. Turns out it was 2 Mbps. Three different employees couldn't tell the difference between the number 2 and the number 20. And it's not like they, they misunderstood. I said, the upload speed... Upload speed is the letter 20 with a 2 and a 0. And the let the numbers between the number 20 are 19 and 21. 20 upload speed, is that right? And three different representatives said, yes, that's correct. And I said, this is very important. This is very important for what I do. This is very important to me. And they said, yes, yes, your upload speed is 20. It's 2! It's 2 after I purchased an account. Uh, I found out that those three employees were wrong, and that three employees couldn't count. Internet service providers are the absolute worst. They are. Don't, never trust internet service providers. And if you ever have to deal with them, write their names down. So, if an employee lies to you, you'll know. Anyway, I promise that's the end of the rant. That's, that's all the info, everything that I could say about it. That's all. Oh, nice dodge. That guy went underground. It's kind of a long story, actually. It's so messy. It's been going on for months. Uh, can't switch to anybody else, because Cox is the only company in the area that has speeds like this. AT&T, unfortunately, is too unreliable for live streaming. Whoa, 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 what? 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 Nice! That guy flipped me on my back. I couldn't get him. That's awesome. Ponce the, Ponce the PG, that was a good kill on your part. That was a damn good kill. I'm not even mad. Right, I'm gonna grab these two ballistics and go after this guy that I saw. He's behind the aircraft hangar, it looks like. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. There he is. Oh, did you see that shot? I actually hit him. That was a, that was a pretty big distance. We actually have two enemies in front of us. Oh, good one, good one. Bam! Nice, solid kill, solid kill. Unfortunately, we're down to 61 health. Oh, we're dead. Pawns the PG took me down again. I know, screw in other service providers. You know what inner service providers are? They're like cable companies and cell phone companies. They're charging an exorbitant price for something that really should be much cheaper just because they can. And they're lobbying illegally. They're, they're doing all kinds of illegal stuff to make sure that they stay in power so they can keep making their money uh, 
and they're trying to keep fair internet service providers from happening. Because they know if, if uh, like Google Fiber were available in more areas, they would go out of business because nobody would put up with their crap. Same with like regular cable companies and not just ISPs. What is around here? What is around? Oh, he got, he went the other way. He went the other way. Smart! Smart! Monster PG again! Oh, I just realized the round ended and the one here is Ponsta PG. I probably caused him to win by all my deaths. All my being reckless around him. No, I did not cause him to win, but I did give him like three kills. He still would have won. Actually, maybe I died four times at the hands of Ponsta PG. Was it four? All right, so we're gonna be doing a shout out challenge and we're also gonna be doing a, a couple minutes of shout outs. Show, let's see, let's, let's start with, let's start with a couple minutes of shout outs. All right, here we go, here we go. Shout out to David Lucas, shout out to Jason Gill, shout out to Joshua Mary, shout out to Ryland Lowe, shout out to Jason Gill. Oh, by the way, uh, we if you guys are actually new to the channel, welcome and let me know if you're new to the channel in the comments. I'll see if I can do a special shout out if I can if I can see that. If you want to shout out, shout out, let me know. And we do this thing every day. So if you enjoyed it, join the massive family. Subscribe to join. Uh, like the video if you had as much fun as I did, and we'll be streaming again tomorrow. It might be Star Wars Battlefront, I'm not sure. Anyway, continuing back with the shoutouts. Let's see. Alright, pulling that up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shout out to... Get to the chopper! Shout out to Pro It Up! Shout out to Jason Lee! Shout out to Draconite! Shout out to Marine Matt! Shout out to Brad Hogston! Shout out to Rylan Lowe! Shout out to Adrian! Shout out to David Lucas! Legit Killer! Shout out to I Suck at Everything! Shout out to Ferg Stink! Sergeant Fives! Shout out to Soccer57! Shout out to Mimi! Shout out to Tyler Hall! Shout out to Hassan! Gabriel Hernandez! Shout out to Max! Shout out to Blue Dragon! Shout out to Zach for Stige, Grumble, Austin Gerard, Emiliano Avrazavaro. Damn it! I couldn't finish reading your name, Emiliano, but shout out to you. Who else we got? No, megabytes. Megabytes upload speed, not megabits, they said. Shout out to Christian Health. Shout out to. Maybe they got that confused, but they shouldn't have. They work for an ISP. Shout out to Lego Man, Sean Dunn. Shout out to Everett Price, Tyler Holt, Nicholas Garcia, Max Miller. Shout out to Donald Trump. Shout out to. Oh, let's see who we got. Who we got. Who we got. Who we got. Shout out to Tillian Rainey. Shout out to Emiliano Arv. Wait, wait, wait. It scrolled past me again. Damn it! I missed it twice! Shout out to Christopher Lacey. Shout out to Jacob R. Shout out to Isaiah Lopez. Shout out to Jaquil. Shout out to... Wait, who are you again? Shout out to Robbie Pillsbury. Shout out to... Jamie Schlander. H. Delk. Shout out to Andre. And shout out to Tyler Fennell. Shout out to Nador Massive Fan. Shout out to Christian Garat. Shout out to Rod Jones. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out to Soccer57. Kai DeGraff. Isaiah Matthews, Dr. Redstone, shout out to Logan Sims, shout out to Jalen Hargrove, shout out to Aiden, let me see, I'm going to try to pronounce this one, Buchanan, shout out to Aiden Buchanan, who's actually new in our massive family, so welcome Aiden Buchanan, I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly because I'm very proud, I think I did, <laughs> also shout out to Lukin. Love that name, that's fun to say. Shout out to Coastal, shout out to Shalim, shout out to Soccer57, shout out to Mia, shout out to Scott Stonewall 606, Massive Iron, April Rain 1024 1024, Jason Lee, Dowson Trigg, and Brandon Conliffe. Also, Boomer8989. Also, shout out to Nick Ortiz, and I'm looking for anybody that missed. Agent Alpha for the win. Shout out to. Gonzalez, Mr. Gonzalez, shout out to you, shout out to, who else we got, who else we got, who else we got, the Destroyer, shout out to you, shout out to Sean Dunn, shout out to Ultimo Black 9 and Savage Gamer Plays, shout out to Battlefield Pro, shout out to Legit Killer, shout out to Austin Gerard, shout out to Matt McFadden, shout out to Wild 9 shout out to Joshua Mary, and I think that's just about everybody, so I'm going to do a shout out challenge. 
And that, if you guys don't know, I'm doing my breathing exercises, is I do as many shoutouts as I can in one breath. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Let's do this. Shout out to Grumble, shout out to Keegan, shout out to Fabian, shout out to Rigoberto, Sean Dunn, Emmett Pacals, shout out to Dragon Knight, shout out to Tyler Fennel, shout out to Wildo09, shout out to Ferkstank, shout out to Jason Lee, shout out to Evan Raider, shout out to Julian, shout out to Austin Castilian, shout out to Wild 9 shout out to Devin Robinson, shout out to Nolan, shout out to Emiliano, shout out to Kendall, shout out to Josh, shout out to Mac McFadden, shout out to Jason Gill. <laughs> I got a decent number of shoutouts in there. Once again, thank you, Massive Family, for joining me for this live stream. I will be streaming tomorrow, so I hope to see you guys then. But until next time, game massively. You have a good night, guys. Or good afternoon. Or good morning, depending where you are in the world. But seriously, I was in kind of a bad mood today, but this really cheered me up. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care.